everyone. My name is Jesse Hansen. I'm a 40-year-old man who was born in America, in California, raised in Virginia, spent the, my younger years till about 20 in Virginia, then another 12 or 15 in California, which I love so much and served as a opening of my heart and opening of my awareness of the larger scale of life. And I spent the last seven years in Toronto, Canada, and today I find myself in the beautiful land of Los Cabos, Mexico, Baja California Sur. Very grateful to be here during this crazy time of Corona quarantine. I'm here today to talk to you about reframing the Corona virus and this phenomenon. Before I go into that, this is my first time ever doing a official solo YouTube channel. So I thought it'd be nice to take just a couple minutes to tell you a little bit about who you're listening to. While I've done a lot of work already with uh, A&E's Intervention TV show, a number of other talk shows, podcasts, etc. as guests, this is my first time ever doing anything like this. Uh, and I'll admit already, it's, it's a bit vulnerable. It's uh, completely unscripted and just speaking from my heart. And probably strangest of all is that I'm directly looking at myself while I'm talking. So if you've never tried it, I think we all ought to challenge ourselves to just see what it's like to be authentic and vulnerable. As I shared my locations, what really matters is that I was raised overall open-minded, uh, but not at all uh, spiritually open or, or you know, taught how to see the, the multiple dimensions of life. That didn't come till later. And it wasn't until I started to study indigenous tribes and indigenous studies in my early 20s that I really feel like I started to better understand who I am. And I did that for a number of years, roughly seven or eight. And then I got called to the clinical world. And so I spent another seven or eight years getting a master's and PhD in clinical psychology from the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. And my master's is from Santa Barbara Graduate Institute. And so here I am today coming to talk to you guys because what I've learned from spending most of my 20s in a very um, indigenous and maybe more spiritually framed reference and then most of my 30s in a much more clinical academic world, here I am in my 40s, well just now 40, looking forward to the rest of my 40s because it seems like it's all starting to blend, to come together. The night before my 40th birthday, something solidified that's extremely important. If you've already watched Donald and I's other video, the Seven Pillars uh, clinical program and retreat program that's birthing into a center, it all sort of grounded and came true that this is gonna happen. And now with the corona phenomenon, I have no idea how or exactly when, but I know that it will happen in my heart. So what I wanna do today is let you know that in overall, you're listening to someone, Jesse, me, who feels like Though I still have so much to learn and so much to grow, I, I have had a really blessed and unique life that I've spent a lot of time in out-of-the-box alternative circles and learning centers, as well as in clinical academia, all the way to actually publishing research around sound vibration effect on the human nervous system. And so with that bihemispheric knowledge and hopefully some tidbits of wisdom as my gray beards might suggest. I want to talk to everyone today about reframing the corona phenomenon, the coronavirus, as it's often called, COVID-19. Here's what I have to say. I'm going to spend a few minutes on a integration of quantum physics and neuroscience to give a plane of reference, and then we're going to come back to the actual current day corona phenomenon and look at it from that lens. Through all my different studies and teachings and life experiences, I've realized that I'm a multidimensional being, and I believe that all of us are, anyone that's listening and anyone that's not. And when I say multidimensional being, I mean that I exist in the third dimension of my, my body, skin, flesh, cells, biology, and I also exist in other dimensions that in quantum physics might be called fourth, fifth, etc. dimensions. And basically what that means is electromagnetic energy or etheric matter. And how I've come to make peace with all of this and how I've come to stay majoritively sane and centered throughout really tough times in my life and also with this corona phenomenon now is that 
I understand that, and I do, I, I am drawing on much research and, and science that I've spent too long reading and studying, that basically there's a direct correlation and a, and a undeniable interconnectedness between the multiple dimensions of reality. And so when we experience things in our body, I'm going to keep personal. When I experience things in my body, they're already happening on other levels. For example, I might get uh, red or flushed during a conversation. That's because I'm already experiencing anger on another level of existence, which now we have the science to actually show we can measure the human electromagnetic field, which the ancient ones have called the human aura. And we can actually see that when our electromagnetic changes, electromagnetic energy changes, it changes in correlation with our emotional patterns. And those emotional patterns change our brain chemistry. And that brain chemistry changes our sensory motor nervous system, autonomic central nervous system, particularly of interest to me is the sensory motor nervous system, because that is responsible for movement, behaviors, the numbers I dial. Are they for a pizza or are they for a salad? All these little subtle things are determined by these forces that are beyond the physical plane. And from what I have seen and what I have learned and what I'm learning from Corona is that we've all become collectively, and I'm not pointing fingers at anyone more than others, it's, it's a collective experience. We've all become in a way addicted to the third dimension. We've become so accustomed to focusing our mind every day about what we have and what we don't have, whether that's around money or objects or relationships. It's around the quality of our, our home. It's around so many things that in the end I'm learning are not what really matters most. And I hope some of you guys are, are starting to realize that too, because I think this current situation is, is driving us to think deeper. So in a nutshell, around this integration of quantum physics and neuroscience is that everything that we experience in our physical body is in correlation to and is directly affected by the electromagnetic field, not only of our own brain body, but of all those around us, other humans, as well as technology. So, and if we can become more aware of that correlation, if we can really start to understand that that correlation, the, the interconnectedness, it's not that one is better or worse than, it's not that one is more or less real. It is that they are simultaneously concurrently true and they are assiduously, which means constant in application. They are constantly communicating with each other. So what this means is that if I as a human being and you as human beings, if you can also become more conscious of these other dimensions of reality, which do not have to be considered spiritual, can just be as simple as recognizing, wow, when I get angry, I put off a certain vibration. When I am happy, I put off another kind of frequency or vibration. And those vibrations matter. People feel them, I feel them, and I feel them from other people. If we can become more conscious of this, then we have a much greater chance at not only our own health, happiness, and healing, but at our own evolution towards understanding our greater purpose and our greater connectedness in this world. I have much more to say on this, but in the interest of being concise for my first video, I'm going to leave it at that and leave a deeper explanation for future episodes. Let's talk about today. Let's talk about early April, mid-April 2020. We are all living under this thing called Corona. And if you heard anything I just said the last five minutes, it means that everything's interconnected and nothing, coronavirus itself is a third dimensional existence. It's a, it's a virus, which is something that scientists can see under a microscope. And even though it's invisible to the human eye, it's still measurable and, and it's physical matter. That also means that if you heard anything I said the last five minutes, it means that that physical matter that we're all calling Corona has a presence on these other dimensions of our realities. And I find it also fascinating. I don't know which doctor it was that said, hey, let's call this thing Corona. I know COVID-19 is the official medical term, but somewhere someone said Corona. For those of you who don't know, Google it if you don't believe me. Corona means crown. It is this Corona phenomenon is a crown. And if you haven't read yet or, or ever heard, Corona, crown, in the Eastern world and ancient teachings, the crown chakra is on the top of our head and it is the highest chakra in the body and it extends beyond the body and it's all about interconnectedness connecting to our own divine nature 
and it is included with connection with nature. So I find it fascinating that all over the world right now, everyone's saying, oh, Corona this, oh, Corona that. Usually not conscious that they're saying, oh, the crown, the crown, the crown. So how I ask you to try this on, take it. If you don't like it, you can leave it. But try it on for at least an hour, maybe a day or two, maybe a week. Think of Corona as the crown. And if you can hear me on this, then think of what we're in together as a coronation, a ceremony, a process of having to be called to higher consciousness, having to put down all the ways in which we were so culturally addicted to satiation and pursuit of pleasure and comfort. And I also know that my perspective creates my reality. So if I choose to be in fear, if I choose the perspective that we are being attacked, then I'm going to have a lot more cortisol and stress and negative energy into my body. If I can see this as a coronation, as a way of understanding that Corona is here as a teacher and that while it exists on the third dimensional plane as a virus, it exists in these other dimensions as an energy, as an electromagnetic force. And all of a sudden this invisible to, to the naked eye, invisible force comes through the world and basically has shut the world down for all intensive purposes. I don't know how anyone could deny that that is a powerful energy. That is a powerful something existing out there beyond us, bigger than us, in a way saying, slow down, isolate, incubate, maybe even take some time to meditate and feel about what's really important in life. I know I'm doing this deeply, and it's changing my life so much. I hope it's changing yours for the better, and yet if it's not, if you're feeling stuck in fear, if you're feeling like this corona thing is the worst thing since Swiss cheese, that's okay too, because as the ancient path has, teach, has taught me, it's all about examining our relationship to everything. So my wish for all of us, whether we are enjoying this quarantine and making the most of it, or whether we are finding ourselves in greater fear and suffering, I hope that we can ask, what's my relationship to Corona, to the crown, to the coronation, to this phenomenon at a global level that's asking all of us to wake up, to slow down and to listen inwards and hopefully not fight that too much. When I join you guys next time, for anyone that's willing to listen, I will share more about practical things, which I know is what everyone wants. Well, what do I do? How do I change this? Right now, I'm just asking you to try it out for roughly a week to think of this as a coronation process. So instead of, I'll give you a quick example. Instead of consciousness that is oriented towards, oh man, I hate this corona, I hate this COVID, I'm so bored, I'm so lonely. What if I could say, wow, this coronation process is really challenging. It's really tough for me to figure out who I am in this. It's tough for me to be without people. It's tough for me you know, change it to, wow, why am I having such a hard time in this? And those of us that are enjoying it, wow, this coronation is, is amazing. I, I think I'm actually starting to wake up. I think I'm actually starting to understand who I am more. I think I'm starting to understand what really matters to me in my life. I wonder what it'll be like when the dust finally settles. And if you know a coronation ceremony, it's a long process usually. And at the end, you finally get the crown. So none of us, I don't think, have the crown yet. I think that we're all working towards it or we're getting more frustrated that we don't feel it. We don't know how to wear it. So that's my, my humble, loving challenge to all of us that are present right now and that are paying attention to this and who are willing to look at this at a multidimensional level. I truly believe in all my heart and what this whole Seven Pillars program is about and what the new retreat center that's coming is about is helping us understand our true multidimensional nature that for the first time in human history, we can integrate ancient teachings that have known this for so long with modern technology, modern science, and even clinical research that shows that we are, we are more than just the physical body. We are consciousness and we are energy and we are the potential for love. So I hope that this is helpful. I hope you can feel the love that's coming, even if these words feel direct to you. I'll just leave you guys with a heartfelt namaste, which is that I see the divine in you. And if you're struggling, I wish for your release of suffering. 
And if you're having a good to great time during this, I send you a virtual high five and say, keep going because a new paradigm is birthing right now. And yet do your best to trust, to open up that something bigger is happening here. And we're all in it together as one.